Hi guys, I'm Tacone82 and this is Tunnel Hat. I've just been eating a curry guys and suitable because we're in India and I'll get full seven some curry later if we complete this mission in Sansasan. <laughs> anyway guys, um, let's go and do the first thing of order. We need to get a guard disguise. And um, the reason I'm running so quickly is because a guard will walk around there in a second and like Diana said in the previous mission, if any guards see us on sight, they will shoot us because we're wearing civilian clothes. And this is like a like a uh, terrorist base, a militant base, base thing. Anyway, so um, that guy there won't like notice us, so don't worry. And we're just gonna go near this guy, and we're gonna walk a bit because we can't run up behind him, can't walk too close. Now we're just gonna crouch here and get out our anaesthetic, and just slowly crawl up behind him. And this is basically the quickest way to do it. Um, I guess you could shoot him, but that would count as a kill. And I want this to be like all zeros. And um, basically, while we're doing this, I'll tell you kind of a, a story, which is basically a fuck up on my part. Basically, um, <laughs> I went onto this uh, mission and I clicked um, that so I could delete some old saves. But I deleted it. Then I said, oh, let's load up our next thing. But I was an idiot and I was still on delete saves. And then um, I deleted all our save gameplay so far. Yep, it was a stupid thing to do. And then um, I was like, oh, what the fuck am I going to do now? But luckily, I was still on this mission. And you think, why didn't you just record from here? And that's because my recording equipment stopped working, which was annoying. Um, so basically, I completed the mission on San Sassan and saved, basically. Um, I got, it took me about 20 minutes. I got one alert. So you're going to have to take that off my overall. But all I did was I then went on to mission select, reloaded this mission. And this is a different day, right? And um, my recording stuff started working. And I basically just went from there. So now we are almost behind the sky. It's going a bit quickly, but slowly but surely, like a coiled snake. 47 strikes. Now guys, give him all five doses because we want him to be asleep as long as possible. He will wake up, but we're going to get a spare set of guard clothes. Now if you don't have many um, anaesthetic doses, don't worry, there's three in the guy's base, in the guy's like quarters, the target's quarters. So um, use all of them up, all five, because we need to take out another two guys after this. And um, that's really annoying. And the two guys are the two guys we're about to go near. Because I'm running really quickly, because a guy is going to go and take a leak, and he only does this every like few minutes, and I don't spend ages waiting. You can't sneak past this guy into the base, and um, or he'll see you. And he barely ever, like, he does walk around a little bit, but he always turns around if you go anywhere near. So that's the only time to sneak in. And um, you're probably wondering why I didn't bring the AK or anything. That's the guy there, I should go in a minute. And that's because as soon as we get the package, um, it will come up in that little warehouse there. We can't open the door now and get to it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> like I was saying, I was eating curry. Um, basically, as soon as um, we get the package, um, Dino will tell us to clear the airfield. And as soon as we take out the second guy with anesthetic, the mission will end. And we can't hold any gun. So, unless you do a different way, which is sedate these guys first after you've called our target, go back down and then go up the lift. But, um, and then you can get the MG, because there's actually an MG. The same MG that, um, oh, what's his name? The UN were using, that big heavy gun they were firing in the last mission. And um, that's pretty cool. And uh, you can get that. And that has loads of shots. Now, you see that guy there? He's going to go for like a little walk now, but um, I'm not going to go yet because I want him because you see he's going to walk forwards a bit and then he's going to turn around and you have no time to get into the base. So like I say, see, if you'd tried now, would have seen you, would have shot you because you're not allowed in the base, even though you're wearing exactly the same clothes as he is, which I think is just really stupid. And he's going to do this like two or three times and then he's going to go to the side there and take a leak and we can run into the thing and kill the guy. And there he is, he's going back now. And he's just going to stand by the door and then go over there. And then we can literally just go straight away. So he's going to stand there and there he goes. Now, I, see, I think he did this before, but I was a bit slow going up behind that guy. So now we're just going to run into the base and complete our first objective. And um, people normally use actually the sewers going around the edge. And that guy's getting the shit kicked out of him. If you actually save him, he'll actually run up to the top. But the two guys at the top will actually shoot him and he'll get killed. Now, like I was saying, guys, people will normally go all the way around to near that door. And we're far enough away from that guy, hopefully. And then they'll come up and use these little rooms 
to hide in. And then they'll go into the guy's thing. But literally, we can walk straight into his thing and kill him. Because every now and again, like this, that guy's going to walk all the way down there and back up here, stand there a bit, and then he's going to turn around. See, he's trying to recognise us, but in a minute, he's going to turn around. See, that guy's unconscious now. And when he wakes up, um, uh, the guys will come back and guess what? Beat him, to <laughs> beat him unconscious. And there's no way to save him, which is annoying, I think. Because I reckon... You should be like Mei Ling or someone you can save. But literally, there we are, guys. Now, when we're in here, we're going to crouch because the guy's actually never in here, so you can walk straight in. He's always in that little side room there. Now, then, he's going through, he's got a knife out, going through all these kind of uh, boxes. And um, I'll show you, they're kind of like an Easter egg. And I don't know what to make of them, but we'll see. Look, there he is, being a dick with his pink turban. And we're going to slice your neck. <laughs> and we're going to grab your deagle. Desert Eagle. And look it, it says Hitman, Codename 47, and it's got the picture from Hitman, Codename 47. And he's got loads of boxes with all these stamps on. And he's also got loads outside. And by the way, guys, do not take his clothes. You take his clothes, any guard sees you, they'll run to the alarm, and all the guards will start become really suspicious. They won't instantly shoot you, and it's stupid, so never take his clothes. And look, there's some more boxes. And now we basically need to wait for that guy there to move. And he's going to do that in a minute. Um, and here I'll tell you how to get the MG. Basically, um, you go to the MG in the guard room. And there's also the guard suit there. Okay, he's moving now. Mm. Yeah, they're, guys, they're going to switch over. I'm actually going to wait until that guy walks all the way down. Because I don't want to get um, seen by that guy there. Anyway, there's a guard suit there. Because the other guy, we um, say to at the beginning, will wake up. And they'll look for a suspicious guard, which will get annoying. So now we're going to crouch, because suddenly, if you walk in here, he can hear you. Which is stupid, I know. And, um, just trying to not miss my cue. Okay. Now we're going to walk fairly quickly, because that guy who just walked around the end there is going to start coming back. So we're just going to tap the run button and get into the area. So, here we are, the guard quarters. Now... Do not run in here. All these guards, right? This is another really funny thing in this mission. Um, all the guards here, they sleep holding their AK-47. Look at them. What idiots. Look, <laughs> so funny. See, that guy's just woken up. Now, normally, if we walk past guards now, they will get super suspicious. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a brand new guard suit. And that's basically like, it is just a new disguise. And even though we're still a guard, I, it won't matter. It's like we're wearing like a completely different like f suit or something. But anyway, guys, they've got an AK here and the MG, or the M60 as they call it. And look at that. It's huge. You can clear whole maps with this gun. And the way to get this gun, basically, is um, what you want to do is you're going to walk around with it, go to there, drop it by the lift, then you're going to walk up to there, Take out those two guys, because you have to take, clear the airfield, like I told you earlier, and as soon as you take out the second guy, the mission will end, unless you haven't taken the package up. So you'll take those two guys out, um, five doses each, and then you'll go back down there, through there to there, um, where the lift is, pick up your MG, and take the lift up. And as soon as um, the cutscene ends at the top, mission will end. And that's it. And now we're going to leave, because um, we don't want any guards seeing us or anything. And in a minute, the guards are actually going to find the guy's body. They have no idea he's dead, but they'll just check on him randomly. And um, they won't care that he's dead. No alarm will be raised. He'll just be dead. Okay, that guy's going to come back now. They're going to switch over, right? And he's going to walk all the way to the end. And that's when we're going to jump into the sewers and um, uh, make our exit to the bomb place where the package is. Now, quite, something quite funny is when you're in the sewers, it's the same picture... Um, which is on when it's at the beginning, when it has the loading bar and says rat tunnel. And in that picture, you're holding an AK-47, and you're in your Agent 47 clothes, walking through this kind of black sewage here. Right? Now, ah, good, the guy's gone into there, we can run. But you can't actually run through those metal things, but... Run just like this. Now, when the other guy starts walking back... Where is he? Okay, crouch, guys. Now... If you, walk, if you don't crouch and you walk past him, it will be like walking past him. He'll get super alert. If you crouch, you won't even know we're here. See, we're just going to walk past him. You won't even know we're here. And that's because we're hiding. See, normally that alert would be really high. 
as soon as he's passed, we're going to run again and get to the lift. See? And he's far enough. So, let's go. And there are these little lads everywhere. Just go like that. See, there's the guard, okay. We're going to go up this ladder here, and they're everywhere. Now, over here with that exclamation mark is where the night vision is. And for some reason, I don't know why you'd want to do this, is the night vision to see when the lights go out. But, um, I don't know why you'd want to turn the lights out, because you can't use the lift then. Even though there's a generator next to it, which I think you can turn the power back on for the lift, but whenever I've tried, it just doesn't work. Now, we're not going to walk past him, because that guy's actually going to turn around in a minute, and then we can go. He should just walk over and guard the kind of um, night vision over there. So, just wait a little bit. It's all about, like, luck almost, timing, luck. And he's just going to walk back in a second. See, if I try and walk forwards now, and that guy will turn around in a second. You could, of course, have gone around the sewage tunnel. You see those little ladders everywhere. But the next ladder is right there next to that guy. And for obvious reasons, we don't want to go up there. And the other one is just over there. And that's how you get the night vision. But um, the night vision's just there. What, there. And then you turn the power up there after you take out that guy. Here the guy comes. And um, so he's going to walk just behind that pillar. And, the night, and once you turn the power off, it will go dark and you can run a bit. I guess you could kill the guy. But I just don't know why you would. There's just no point. We're going to stick to the wall here because that guy will get us a little bit suspicious. He'll get a bit suspicious. Just keep to the wall, guys. Keep to the wall. Okay, see? A little bit. Probably going to count as a close encounter. And it's really weird. All the guards are always super suspicious down here. Here we are, guys. Call that lift. Go in behind it. Now, as soon as you do this, it will set off an alarm. Don't worry. This happens every time. Just crouch behind here. The guards won't do anything. They won't care and they'll just run through here. And then as soon as it takes us to the top, Diana will tell us a little cutscene, and then we can go. And we're standing behind this green nuclear box. Uh, can, I, can we see the warning, sir? Look. Oh, that's like nuclear bomb. Look, uh, detonator class E. Anyway, guys, let's go out first person, and so here are our little cutscene. Nice work, 47. Secure the perimeter at ground level in case any soldiers have turned up. 47's pissed, of course. But anyway, we, and the reason we can't have just gone for this warehouse at the beginning, because that's where we entered, is because all the guards, see it says helipad's not secure, and we had to take those two guys out. And the reason we couldn't have done it is because that door's locked, and we had to take those two guys out before we can let the package out. And um, it'd be good if we actually could have taken the lift straight down, that'd be so easy, but we can't. So now we just need to wait for these guys here to break up. That guy's gonna go take a leak, and that guy's going to walk around, do some stuff, and then we can creep up behind him and take him out. So now, guys, here's another just a waiting part here. Just wait. And this is the most waiting, I think, um, in this part of the mission. The bit at the beginning is waiting as well, but it's just luck. And that guy here's frozen. Now he's unfrozen. And these guys are going to talk and stuff and just be like, oh, well, 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 nice nuclear bomb downstairs, blow some people up. Go, 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 go. And then after they've had a long chat, they're going to walk off. See, he's going to go there, and the second he's going to take a leak, and we'll take him out. That guy's going to walk, like, round here. And I want that guy to move. So I, I could keep up behind him right now and give him a few doses, but um, I don't want to suddenly turn around. So it's better to wait until he moves. Now, guys, let's just do it. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Just get near him. Okay, crouch. Yeah, we can do it, guys. So, get our anesthetic out. There we are. Come on, don't turn around, don't turn around. Yeah, we got him. Now give him all five doses, because that it can be hard to get that guy there. And this guy, if he wakes up, basically, it's really hard to sedate him again. And once we do that, we're just going to literally drag him into the corner there. Actually, let's drag him down the stairs a little bit. He's safe side. Drag. We'll just drag him down these stairs a little bit. Hopefully, the guy shouldn't see him. Oh. All the way down here. We can hear that poor guy. He's still getting beaten up. I think that guy might side all the way to the bottom. Just 
just going to make sure that guy is not on ground level. Okay. Ooh, okay, here we are. We're fine. See? And he's going to come around the corner in just a second. And then we will sedate him. See? There he is. Just there. Now, either he's going to stand over there or he's going to go into the helipad over there. Either one. It'd be better if he went over to the wall there. But, yep, he's doing that. That's good. Because otherwise it's really difficult to sedate him. Because he spends ages walking around. Now he's like, ooh, I wonder where my buddy's gone. Oh, my God. Literally, talk of the devil. I say, oh, yeah, it's going to be easy. But no, it's not. Oh, it's really annoying. Might mean because he saw me. I'm not sure. Now, if we're lucky, he'll take a leak against the wall. But unlucky, he'll walk around for ages. Yeah. I think he's going to take a leak. I'm not sure. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh, my God, don't turn around. Go back. Take a leak again. Keep on taking your leak. Take a fist, mate. Peace against the wall. Peace against the wall. Okay, let's see if we can get up behind him, then. Oh, literally, guys, this is one of the most annoying parts. Okay, here we go. Get out our anaesthetic. Here we are, guys. One dose. And there we are. There we are, guys. End of mission. There we are, guys. Silent Assassin. 15 minutes overall. So take away 20 minutes from that. We've just done a little over two hours, which is cool. Um, we've killed only five alerts. Only six shots fired. Uh, six alerts, I mean, guys. Sorry. Six shots fired on one close encounter. Um, and one enemy killed. So there's a little cutscene after this. And let's have a look at that. I'll just save really quick. Um, there we are. And we will save there, guys. And then these guys come and pick the bomb up. And uh, then we'll go back to control now. So here we go. Careful, that's a nuke. That guy must be strong. 